Good morning students. Today I shall be discussing about the topic called introduction to NetBeans and the components of a NetBeans window. Now let's get started with introduction to NetBeans. As we all know that we can use any text editors to develop applications using the Java programming language. But such text editors like Notepad and WordPad, they are good for building only small and simple applications. Whereas for real life applications, which are very large and complex and includes millions of lines of code and hundreds of class files, using such text editors to build those applications is not a feasible option. This is because developing, debugging and managing larger applications using text editors is cumbersome. Now note that debugging means rectifying or correcting the errors. So just as how difficult it is to develop large and complex applications using text editors, it is also very difficult to rectify or correct the errors if it occurs while building large and complex applications using text editors. That's why it has been said that developing, debugging and managing larger applications using text editor is cumbersome or hard. As a result, we require some sophisticated tool that will help us to code, compile and test applications in Java. And NetBeans provides a very sophisticated integrated development environment, in short IDE, for coding, compiling, debugging and testing the Java applications. So for such real life applications which are very large and complex, okay, and that includes millions of lines of code and hundreds of class files, we need a development environment called NetBeans, which helps us in coding, compiling, okay, rectifying or correcting errors and as well as testing the Java applications. Now, not only in Java, NetBeans can also be used for developing applications in other different programming languages such as C, C++ or PHP. Now note that coding means writing the source code of the program. Compilation means or compiling means it checks for errors in the program. And in case any error has been detected during this compilation phase, those errors need to be corrected or rectified during the debugging phase. So coding means writing the source code of the Java program and compiling means checking for particular errors okay, in the Java program that has been typed. And in case there exist any errors, those errors need to be rectified or corrected in the debugging phase. And once the coding phase, compiling phase and the debugging phase gets over, the next phase is the testing phase. Now the testing phase checks whether the code that has been typed during the coding phase gives the appropriate results or not. If the code produces the appropriate and correct results upon testing, that means we can say that the code is a success. Now the integrated development environment or IDE, okay, which we call it as NetBeans here, divides each of these phases that is coding, compiling, debugging and testing into different sections. Where the coding is done first, followed by compiling, then debugging and finally the testing. Now let's discuss about the components of a NetBeans window. Following are the components of a NetBeans window. The first one is the Project Explorer. This component lists the available Java projects, the associated packages and the program files. Now this is the region of the Project Explorer that lists all the available Java projects along with its associated packages and the program files. And I have indicated this region which is known as the Project Explorer by number 1. The second component of the NetBeans window is the Design window. The Design window provides a workspace for designing the user interface. 
now this is the design window as indicate as indicated by the number two as shown here now this design window it provides a workspace for designing the user interface okay so this design window actually provides a workspace for designing the user interface and since this is the workspace for designing so we can drag and drop each of these controls inside the palette section onto this design window in this particular design window there are four different labels which are indicated by the text principal rate of interest time and interest each of these labels has been dragged from this palette section onto this design window and in addition to these labels there are four text fields okay as indicated by this rectangular shaped box like uh, white region these text fields are also dragged from this palette section onto this design window and after that there are two buttons as indicated by the text calculate and cancel both these buttons both these buttons has been dragged from this palette section onto this design window the next component of the netbeans window is the palette window the palette window lists the awt and the swing controls where awt stands for the application window toolkit the palette window is also called as the toolbox so this is the region of the palette window this palette window consists of many controls okay that's why it is known as the toolbox and the controls which this palette window consists of are the application window toolkits and the swing controls now each of these labels that is principal rate of interest time and interest that we have dragged and dropped from this palette window onto this user interface okay the design of this user interface are known as the swing controls so we can say that these labels principal rate of interest time and interest are the swing controls which exist inside this palette window and there are more swing controls as well these four text fields okay as represented by this white color rectangular box these text fields are also another type of swing controls that is inside this palette section and we have dragged these text fields from within this swing control into this design interface similarly these buttons are also the swing controls that exist inside this palette section then let's come to the next component of the netbeans window which is the properties window the properties window is used to set the properties of the controls so for each of these controls for these labels called principal rate of interest time interest okay and again for these controls okay these text fields and these buttons there are some properties associated with these controls and we can check out the properties of each of these controls by clicking on a particular control and once we do that we can check the property of that particular control in a properties window now this is the properties window as indicated by the number four here okay now this property window it shows the property of the control called text field okay so for the first text field okay which is indicated by z text field one here in the properties window okay now when we click this uh, control called as the text field immediately we can see the properties of this particular control in this property window in the similar way if we click on this button control say if i click on this button called calculate then i can see the properties of this particular button in the property window here this window called the property window can also be invoked by right clicking on any control in the design workspace and selecting the properties option that means we can also select the properties of any of these controls okay okay by selecting a particular control and right clicking on it and choosing properties out of the available list of options so either we can do that 
or we can just click on that control and see its properties listed as indicated here and the next component of a NetBeans window is the navigator window the navigator window lists the names of controls used in a user interface now this is the user interface okay or the design window where we have drawn our user interface now this interface consists of four labels okay as indicated by principal rate of interest time and interest and four different text fields as indicated by this rectangular white colored uh, portion and also it consists of two buttons as indicated by the first one which is the calculate button and the second one which is the cancel button and the names of each of these controls that is uh, for each of these labels for these text fields and these buttons okay their names uh, will be displayed in a separate window called as the navigator window okay so the navigator window is shown by this region as indicated by the number five okay now see here these are the labels j label one is the first label called principal j label two is the second label called rate of interest j label three is the third label called time years okay j label four okay is the fourth label called interest and similarly there are four different text fields okay which are also represented as j text field one which is this text field first one j text field two which is the second one okay this one j text field three is the third text field which is this one and j text field four is the fourth text field which is this one okay then even the buttons represented by calculate and cancel are also shown in this navigator window which is here j button one indicates the first button calculate the j button 2 indicates the second button called cancel okay in this way each of the controls okay that are listed in this design window those controls will be visible in the navigator window okay and this is shown here i have indicated it by the number five so the first region is the project explorer the second region is the design window the third region is the palette window the fourth region is the properties window for each of the controls in the uh, design window and the fifth one is the navigator window which shows each of the controls that are listed in the design window so i hope this is clear and with this i end my presentation here.